In our nation's capital, the Senate is set to reveal a bipartisan deal aiming to secure the southern border. But will the legislation be dead on arrival when it reaches the House? Here's national correspondent Kayla Gaskins. USA! USA! A convoy leaving Virginia Beach Monday morning. Their destination, the southern border. Organizers expect the group will eventually reach 700,000 vehicles. They'll stop for rallies in Texas, Arizona, and California, attempting to draw attention to the migration crisis. The American people have had enough. We're demanding that the Biden administration do its job, enforce the laws on the books, and secure our border. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill, senators are getting close to a bipartisan deal that would provide resources to secure the border. But former President Donald Trump stands strongly against the deal. That would give Biden a win as the presidential election cycle heats up. House Republicans standing with Trump, promising the Senate deal will be dead on arrival in the House. The lead GOP negotiator on the Senate deal, Senator James Langford from Oklahoma, openly frustrated with his party. It is interesting. Republicans four months ago would not give funding for Ukraine, for Israel, and for our southern border because we demanded changes in policy. So we actually locked arms together and said, we're not going to give you money for this. We want a change in law. And now it's interesting a few months later when we're finally getting to the end, they're like, oh, just kidding. I actually don't want a change in law because it's a presidential election year. The Oklahoma GOP censuring Langford for his role in cutting the deal. As the crisis deteriorates, the state of Texas and the federal government are in a showdown over who has authority to secure the border. Texas continuing to put up a razor wire barrier after the White House ordered them to take it down. Don't mess with Texas. We're serious about securing our border, and I'm glad the president stood down on Friday and did not confront us. That would be the wrong thing to do. We don't want a confrontation. The House moving forward with impeaching Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over the mess. The full vote could happen this week, but the Democratic-controlled Senate will likely reject the House's action. On Capitol Hill, I'm Kayla Gaskins.